Hello, and welcome to another Key Factor Community video. I'm Sven, and today I will walk you through deploying the EGB CA CSR container to issue MTLS certificate to an Istio service mesh. A little housekeeping before we begin. Before you complete this video, you need to go back and watch our role video if you've not already gone through and configured EGB CA for roles where we set up an RA credential that would be used by the CSR API container to authenticate to the eGBCA REST API. And you'll also have wanted to watch the other tutorials of deploying a CA hierarchy, the TLS server and client certs, and the ephemeral or short-lived certificate video as well. So if you've done those, then congratulations, let's move on. All right, we'll hop in over to our install the first thing we're doing here is sshing over to the server our micro cage then we're going to open another tab real quick and we're going to scp the k8 ra pem credential we need to authenticate to the rest api our egbca container so we'll do that we'll close that over and then we're going to hop back over to the other tab now and what we're going to do is cat that credential file out and we want to copy the private key portion and we're going to use vim and create a file client.key and we're going to paste that key blob in there and then we'll save and close the file. So let's go ahead and do that, all right? And then we'll paste it, save and close, colon wq. All right, and now we're going to copy the pem certificate and we're going to create a file client.pem and we'll paste the contents in there, all right? And we'll save and close that. Next, we need to create, we're gonna launch a little install script here, which will go through the steps we're gonna do. So what we'll do first is create a directory here, the CSR API directory, and we're just gonna use this for organizing our content. We'll CD over there. We're gonna download the CSR API project from Git. We'll do that because it has the Helm chart in there to deploy the CSR API container for eGBCA. So we'll pull that down, then we're going to unpack it with the tar XF. All right. Then we're going to create a credential.yaml file. So in this file, we've got a few options. The main one that needs to be set is the host name up top. The other values need to be there without any uh, value to the right of the cone. But we do need to have that host name set. And we've got it set to the internal name of what EGBC will be what we did in the last video for the HTTP container that we deployed. All right, so with that, we're gonna create some secrets here. Of the credential file, we're gonna create another secret with the CA cert that we did, and that's from a previous video that that file is still on our system. And we create another secret with the client cert, the client.pem and the client.key. That's gonna be used for the CSR API container to authenticate to the eGBCA. So then we're gonna make another directory where we're gonna get our Helm chart ready. So we're gonna move a few files over into that directory, and then we're going to get our values.yaml set. So we'll take a look at that. And this will also be pasted in our online docs of what all goes in there. But the main points are the client key and file name that we did of using those. And then we're gonna end up deploying this Helm chart now. And as we can see, the deployment's not up yet, but it's gonna go deploy the CSR API container from Docker Hub, and it'll use the secrets in the container, which will then authenticate to the eGBCA container. So we can see here that it did deploy, and it successfully connected. So we wanna see this output like this, that it successfully connected to our container. All right, so now it's deployed. Now we're gonna get ready to download the Istio side. So we're downloading 16, version 16. We're gonna get ready to unpack that. All right, so that unpacks. We're gonna CD over into the directory real quick and we're gonna update our path so we can use the Istio control command. So export that command out so we've got it for future use and then we're gonna actually install it now. So this could go a little bit slower or faster than what's in the video. It's gonna depend on you know how 
much resources you've got on this micro kate vm for it to run obviously here went pretty quickly all right so we're going to go up one directory now and then we're going to export another variable here to grab the ip address so we're going to add a host file entry with that so that way we can connect to egbca container from inside our micro kates we're going to pull down the ca cert and we have a little blob right there that will base 64 in code. We're going to create a external CA YAML that will be mounted into the Istio side for the trust to come in. So there we go. We base 64. We put the value where the root cert.pem is. And then we're going to save and close that file. And then we're going to create and apply that. There we go. And then we're going to update our Istio deployment now so it uses elliptic curve keys. But going with the defaults like this will get us running. All right. So then we apply that. That goes. And now what we need to do is create a namespace. So we're going to use the book info app. And we're going to get that namespace created. All right. We got that. And then we're going to set this sidecar injection part up. So we enable that and check it on the both uh, namespaces for default and the book info. So that's set. And now we can deploy the book info. And when this happens, this is going to trigger the enrollment. So we can go back and tail the logs from the CSR API signer. And we've actually now successfully issued certificates to the containers deployed in the Istio service mesh. So it's that simple to get EGBCA community container with the CSR API integration to issue containers to an Istio service mesh like that. All right. If you got any questions, leave a comment or send us an email, and we hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.